There are five chief benefits to local foods. Chief, C H E E F. The five benefits include cultural benefits, health benefits, environmental benefits, economic benefits, and benefits in terms of food security. This video will introduce you to the five chief benefits. The first of the five chief benefits is the cultural benefits of local food. Local foods promote a local way of life. They promote local food production practices and local food production itself. Local foods such as Koshai and Fafa are a part of the custom and culture of Koshai. These foods and the way in which they're prepared, made, and packaged promote local cultural practices and conserve local traditional knowledge. They also provide benefits to farming and land practices, the chiak in sap of Pompeii, the culture of the land. The second of the chief benefits, H, are the health benefits. Local foods are loaded with vitamins, minerals, and micronutrients. They help children grow healthy and keep adults healthy as well. Especially our yellow-fleshed bananas, our yellow-fleshed breadfruit, and the yellow-fleshed taro varieties along with our pandanus. These all are high in vitamin A, a vitamin in which there are deficiencies here in the FSM. These local foods are far healthier for us than foods such as the rice, which has no vitamins, no micronutrients to speak of, no minerals that tends to be a major starch in the diet today. One of the key aspects of going local is the substitution of foreign starches with our local starches. Our local starches are much healthier. These islands are blessed with some of the healthiest local starches on the planet. They're high in fiber, they're high in minerals, they contain micronutrients, and there are a number of banana varieties that are rather unusual in their extremely high vitamin A concentration, including the banana known on Pompeii as Karach, very high in beta-carotenoids that are the precursor to vitamin A. Our local foods are known to be very healthy. It has been a long time since any child in Micronesia grew up purely on local food. These children are standing on a beach in Tafinsek in 1945. This picture is courtesy of the Destroyer Escort Association from World War II. These children were raised purely on local food. They're healthy, they're clearly fed sufficiently, but they are not obese, they are not overweight. They are healthy young children who grew up purely on local food during the time of the war in the Pacific. The third of the chief benefits are the environmental benefits of local food. Local food does not have to be brought in by a ship, and ships which bring in our foreign food burn fuel oil. Fuel oil contributes to the carbon load in the atmosphere, may contribute to global warming and sea level rise, which threatens these islands. Local food has close to zero food miles in the language of uh, food shipment distances. We speak of how many miles your food had to be shipped to get to your table. Food from foreign sources has to be shipped tremendous distances. Food that you grow in your backyard, you only have to walk it in. It's essentially zero food miles. This is good for the environment. The other food benefit is that local foods come in local biodegradable packaging and plates. Local food is in a biodegradable, environmentally friendly container from the get-go. The fourth chief benefit is the economic benefit. Local food benefits local farmers. Money stays on island. 
Effects known in economics as the multiplier effect have an impact. The money that you spend doesn't leave the island. If you buy m food that's imported in the store, it goes through the store owner straight out to foreign uh, suppliers. Local food keeps money at home in the economy and helps support local farmers and their families. There are imports are also substituted by this mechanism. That is, when you buy local food, that's less food that has to be imported, and that actually benefits the whole macroeconomy of the nation. Buying local is not just good for the local farmers, it's good for the nation. It's a patriotic thing to do. The last of the chief benefits is food security. Food security is how, where does your food come from? Our food, our foreign food, comes in by, primarily by ship, to much, much more limited extent, a few things may come in by air cargo, but most of it by containers on ships. If those ships, for some reason, were unable to sail, well, this island would run out of food. The FSM would have a food shortage. These islands depend on imported food. When you depend on food coming from somewhere else, you are food insecure. You do not have food security. You have food insecurity. Local food provides food security. You cannot starve if your backyard is full of the food you need to survive. If you grow your own food in your backyard, you have food security. You will be able to eat. So, local food provides food security. F, the last of the five chief benefits. These pancakes were made with banana flour. Dried, ground bananas. So, local foods include also foods that might not look like local foods. But this is a high-fiber, nutritious pancake. This is banana flour, not wheat flour. It looks like a whole wheat pancake. It's not. It's made with banana flour from our local bananas. And they are quite good, I assure you. In this unit of the course, I'll be asking you to share a recipe, a local food made from a plant, as a video, posting it to YouTube, and sharing the link back to me. I'll post a couple examples of some local foods of a sort being made here at my house. You'll share some of your one local dish, one local food from your culture, your place. Something made from a plant. Show us the plant and explain how you make the food. You can put the video together however you want. And remember, if you, you should probably use an editor so you can export it at something like 720p so it will upload better on our limited bandwidth out here. Then share that YouTube link back to, to myself. You do not have to appear in your video. Take a look at my two example videos. There's no need to appear in, in the video itself. Don't be shy. Just share a food recipe with us and uh, we'll collect those together as a class into our own little class video cookbook, just like the ones you see on the internet at present. So, think about what you might want to do. Go out, start making the film. You can do still pictures like I'm using in this one. You can use live video, you can use both. And then use the video editor of your choice on your phone or whatever tool you're using to put your movie together.